So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the new firmware update from Blackmagic for the Pocket 4K. It's the firmware 6.2. Now, one of the things you're gonna notice when updating your camera is the UI for the recording options we have. So apparently, Blackmagic Design had some legal issues with the Cinema DNG codec people, whatever. So they had to implement their own Blackmagic RAW, which they added in the firmware 6.2. Now, as you can see, there are two options, constant quality and constant bitrate. According to the manual, the constant quality Q0 and Q5 are gonna be your best bet if you want the absolute best image possible out of the camera. Or you can choose constant bitrate with different compress ratio if you're just shooting it for whatever. But for me, I'm probably gonna be shooting around the Q0 or Q5, which surprisingly for Q5, it's pretty nice. I get about 88 minutes of recording time at 4K DCI, which is sweet. That's still a lot of time for a 256 gig CFast 2.0 card, so I'm pretty excited about that. So with this firmware, I know it just came out and it's already dark, but I am gonna be testing this out. I am using it already, recording this video just to see what it looks like. But apparently B-Raw is supposed to help with low light situations and obviously reduce file size and supposedly help you with editing in post. So that's pretty much it for the major changes that came on the firmware 6.2. They just got rid of the Cinema DNG codec and implemented the B-Raw or Blackmagic RAW codec in the camera. Okay, so things to remember before updating your firmware, make sure you save all your custom LUTs, all your settings, because the firmware update will delete everything that you have in the camera. Additionally, make sure your battery is charged because you might break your camera accidentally. And finally, if you want, go ahead and do a calibration on the back of the camera after updating your firmware. Now, if you don't want to jump in and update the firmware just yet, just give me like a week or so and I'll update my thoughts on this new firmware because I know with new firmwares comes new problems. I'll let you guys know if I run into anything. Like always, if you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll see you guys later.